America's forests, lush, green, and filled with fresh air, more than 200 billion trees absorbing carbon dioxide and giving us oxygen. When they soak up that carbon, they store it. If you hold a, a piece of dry wood, half of that weight is, is carbon. All that carbon locked up in the trees is why forests are often called carbon sinks. They store a lot of carbon. U.S. forests offset about 13 percent or so of the national greenhouse gas emissions. But by measuring plots of trees over time, Tony Vorster came across a disturbing discovery in Colorado. We found that in the past two decades or so that our forests, the Colorado's forests, have emitted more carbon than they've captured. Colorado is not alone. The forests in at least eight states have been net carbon emitters in recent years. California's 2020 fire season alone wiped out 18 years of greenhouse gas reductions in the state. The problem goes back a century when we started suppressing forest fires. By suppressing those fires, we have what we call overstocked conditions, maybe unnaturally dense conditions on, across the landscape, and this is sort of a west-wide issue. At the same time, we're coming into a period of climate change with more drought, and that can lead to more bark beetle outbreaks and fires. Which means more decaying or burning wood in the forests, and that emits carbon. Too much for the healthy trees to offset with the carbon they absorb, and the outlook is forest emissions will increase. With a changing climate, I think when we think about the future, we're not going into a world of less fire. I think that's where the, the carbon sink thing gets alarming because maybe it's, it's not going to save us. So we shouldn't be looking to our forest to you know, bail us out of climate change. And I think that's, that's a big takeaway from this. In Colorado, Brad Hicks reporting.